Welcome back to Parsons and Parsimony. It's a fresh day. Going to work on these seeds, getting them organized. I have my buddy here, Lydia. She's my organizing person. And we're going to go through and sort out the seeds, put them in their containers, and we'll hopefully get a little bit more organized. This is my container from last year with all my seeds. I think, Lydia, most of them are organized when I did ordered my seeds, but go ahead and pull those out. <laughs> Another use for uh, clothespins. <laughs> it keeps similar seeds Ooh, all together. Um, I think this yeah, one just go ahead and the red one. pull them all out. Before we put them in, Mary, we're just going to sort them, lay them out on the table, and then we will put them in their containers. Okay, girls and I are having fun doing this. I found when I was cleaning some of these labels, I don't know if you can see what size they are. They're a little too big. See, those are just a little too big to put at the sides here of the case. So we're gonna cut them in half and stick them on. And then I'll just write what is in each case. And then when we have them in here, we can easily just go through and say, oh, I want the onions, I want the seed. You know, it'll be easy enough for me to see that organized. Did you, do we, how many cases, how many are in here? Three, eight. So we have 16. So we could have beans, tomatoes. How many do we have? Peas? Let's just keep this here for me. Let's see if we have 16 so we know how to. Let's see. Label one, them out. two, three, four, five. Are we? You can't count. <laughs> yes, you can count. These ones will take. So, there it is. One, two, three, Okay. <laughs> Well, this, oh, you know what? Yeah, I probably could if I cut it that way. And we want to make sure they're all going the same way. Well, we're not planting seeds yet, honey. We're going to, um, in a little bit, you can. Mom, can I have one? Honey, you can't sit on my lap yet, okay? It's better if you can I have a ton of lettuce seeds. Uh, no, honey, come cut. cut those. Uh, did you buy any more? Can you step it? So we finished those. I needed to call in Art because I could not get my brain wrapped around how we were going to get all the varieties in the containers. But he said, well, you could do similar things. So like peppers and eggplants are in the same container, which totally makes sense. I just couldn't get pregnancy brain. Could not get my head wrapped around that today. So celery and onions, Swiss chard is by itself. Peas are obviously bigger, so that one stayed by itself. Spinach, radishes, beets, herbs, a large variety of herbs, green beans now. These are pole beans. These are the ones that we collected and then we bought some. But we also have... There's still more beans. These are all bush beans. So I didn't mix those. I won't be buying bush beans again, but I just... Well, it is what it is. And then tomatoes. I had enough tomatoes. They warranted their own container. Cucumbers, peppers, eggplant, carrots, and parsnips. I tried to keep similar things together. Lettuce, kale, squash, pumpkins broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage, and Brussels sprouts, flowers, and then this one is watermelon, but we don't think we're going to end up growing it again, so I didn't label it. And there it is. Everything is organized and ready for a new garden year. This is what 
day three, day four. Yeah. When we, we did our germination um, test. And last night, some of the zinnias started One, to sprout. So, two, Mary. Three. No, the marigolds yet. But, look at this. Look at that. Can I show them? Yep, there? put it in your hand, gentle. See that? Oh, it's blue. So, let's see. We need to make, I'm seeing how many here. You got three. And there's probably, which one is the one I that think you you're going to have more, but we yeah. have to leave them in here until they finish. So, make three holes. And we're just, just going to gently put um, these. Mom, can I spray the water? Not yet, honey. Yeah, can I help plant? I I knows. So it's just missing the mouth. Oh, this is a huge yes, they are. Oh, they use the okay. So when you plant it, make sure the leaves are pointing up. We so you mean it. you want it like this? Right. Root down, leaves up. Like that. Don't cover it yet. Just let them let them sit there, and then you have two more. Again, put that. Yep, just like that, and the leaves will pop up. Same thing with that one. And probably in two days, you'll see them come through the soil. Sure. Gently, yep, gently cover them. This one I'm not going to cover. Yeah, just push them. around it so it has good I'm just root going to and soil the, contact. I'm just going to keep the leaf up the top. And then, okay, you're going to have to pump that up, and then you can spray. But don't get it on the beams, okay. Why does it make that sound? That's Daddy's department. <laughs> okay, just spray it there, mate. Okay. That's good. Yep, just a little bit. It smells like soap. Well, that's because I used it for my soap spray, but I washed it out. So you're smelling peppermint. Ooh, that smells good. I wonder if they would like the smell of peppermint. Probably. And then we'll just put this back upstairs, Mary, and see if any more germinate. So right now, we only had three out of ten. Yeah. So that would be a 30% germination rate. But I think we're going to have a couple more. I think they're just going to be a little we bit slower. might get 100% more. Mm, I don't That's think good. so. Some of them aren't swelling. Like they start to swell as they're going to burst out of their seeds. Okay, I think that's good, honey. We'll just let that go. What? What yeah, it's coming out the bottom. So we need that's to just good. let it set. And you'll see. Oops. Okay, that's Just good. let it soak it up. There you go. Oh, get that yeah. far. These are like oh, minuscule seeds. How big are they, Casey? Yeah. <laughs> These are tiny. They are very oh, tiny. And this is celery. Janelle's been watching a lot of celery videos lately. Never grown celery, but there's a first for everything. Right. So I think that's two rows and they have at least two or three seeds for each one that's probably can enough celery what do you think uh-huh uh, uh or try a little bit more i don't know how I many know seeds either. come in there Mommy, not a lot see these Whoa, are, those are tiny. that's why i said don't sneeze <laughs> if you oh, sneeze and they say <laughs> they take up to three weeks to germinate wow so you have to be very very patient, patient. You girls have patience. It'll be after the baby. It'll yeah, probably germinate around when the baby comes. Yep. Mom, when you have to plant this bowl, it's hot. Daddy, can I do Okay. Three? Well, there. We'll go with three rows art. So we'll Did need to get some three? labeling sticks. Yeah, a long time. So this one is Celery Tango OG. I have zero grams. That's what they say. Daddy, guess what? Really? Yeah. I always thought it was og. Oh. And then okay. I realized it was zero grams. Actually, okay. I think you told me Daddy, that, didn't you? No, I don't think so. And then next we're planting. Okay, wait a second, Grace. I have onions. We're using Red Wing and then Patterson. These are a white storage onion and these are a red storage onion. I've never grown onion seed from seed in any decent quantity so we'll see what happens now we're doing onions and the kids just said that those look like chocolate chips <laughs> so we're planting chocolate chips in there here we did our onions and the celery one tray is done yeah now let's see what do we have we've got to do brussels sprouts what do we have here it's cauliflower brussels sprouts cabbage broccoli and what's this one and okay two types of oh broccoli cauliflower cabbage okay all right, here we go. Daddy. 
Another new addition to our garden is going to be Brussels sprouts this year. How many plants? I'm thinking what? just two rows. Let's let's look. Let's look. Uh, I don't I don't know. I don't know either. Let's see, three, six, seven. So that's fourteen plants. I think that's probably enough, right? Okay, probably. Where How many seeds do you get? Thirty. Oh, Thirty seeds. Uh, okay. I've lived all these years and I never knew that's how to spell Brussels sprouts. I did not know it ended with an S, Brussels sprouts. But I guess I know now. Okay, are you all done with those? Okay, well, I'll put this in here. Uh, Janelle decided, oops, she decided to do uh, 21. You can freeze them, right? Right. Buy a second freezer! No, no more freezer. All done for the night. Uh, let's see, we have. 7 times 12 is 84 times 3 things, so I'll say 240, 252. Do we plant too much? Yeah, 252, and then most of them have multiple plants in them. So if they all grow, that's quite a few. And that doesn't include the peppers, the tomatoes, the eggplants, all those things that need to get started in a couple more weeks. So this year, Janelle's going to do something a little different. She's going to journal about the garden. And uh, well, she's going to start journaling. So I already started. I started in March because not much happened really in January and I didn't have this ready. So I have March and then in the back here I need to finish making the rest of them. But I have the calendars and I need to put in the highs and lows and precipitation in here. So I can really track, you know, what the trends were. Was it warm? Not. I'll probably put the greenhouse temperatures in here too once those start coming in tomorrow. But yeah, that's what I'm starting with. I, I I got caught up on how should I do this? How should I do it? And I said, if I keep waiting, I'm not going to do it. Right. So, so you're just doing it. I just it. Put, started writing. That's just how it was going to be. And well, this may evolve over the years, but we're going to start with that for now. I was in the middle of journaling and the power went out and it's back on as you guys can see but we went ahead and lit candles kids are just getting into bed lit candles I'm charging my cell phone right now we're in the middle of a front coming through and according to John scanner a tree fell in a house so that's why the wires went down the power went out hopefully everything's all right but candles are out so I think we're prepared now if anything happens. So I think I have everything written down. I wrote the brand where I bought it from, the year, and then the variety so I can see how it does. And I did that on all of those. And then I documented Mary's zinnia germination test. So I think we are caught up for today other than writing the weather. And I'll do that in a little bit. But with that, I'm gonna end today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a fabulous day and we'll see you for our next video. Good night.